Alright, so now we need to add a curves adjustment layer and just play around with that. Just make things stand out a bit more. And lower the opacity on that. And finally, we need to add another black and white, but I'll do gradient matte for that part. And lower the opacity quite a bit. And the last thing we need to do is brighten it up a tad bit because we just manipulated the whole image with curves and everything. So and there we have it. So the last thing I did, maybe that's too bright. Okay. Now maybe adjust the curves a bit more. Make it a little bit darker here. And darker here. Okay, so the last thing I did is add a, a uh, borders to it. So create a new group called borders. And what I did is I created a new, I used a marquee tool, fixed size, 400 by 5, and went to the top, press D on the keyboard, oops, I'm still on the opacity, so D on the keyboard, Control shift alt new, to create a new layer, and fill it with black and just duplicate that layer and drag it below and on the borders select the whole thing and lower the opacity a bit so there are the borders and that is the anime signature so this tutorial is probably about 40 minutes long so there's not much left to add I'll just play around with the settings and play around with the adjustments layer you see before the adjustments layer we had that after the adjustment layer we have that and just mess around with that and of course mess around with the core signature as well and clipping masks you can make cool effects or cool shapes here like you can add a triangle instead of a uh, diagonal line or you can just add a uh, swirly line kind of twirlies now let's see what that'll look like filter distort ripple okay so you can get kind of ripple effects there. You can zoom in and see what that looks like. And just change around with the settings. And I'll provide the PSD for you. And I'll add a readme file in there. So you can see what the layers are and what they do. And of course the render is from Ortex. All credit goes to him. So I'm going to go ahead and end this tutorial. 40 minutes is kind of a long time to be sitting there listening to me talk, but at least you learn how to create a new cool anime effect with some clipping masks and a bunch of adjustment layer discussion. And of course, the PSD will be available for you to play with, and I will provide the original PSD as well, because things are a bit different between this one and the original. A uh, quick tip to change the overall color of the Signature just go to the photo filter layer and just play around with the settings sort of like an orange look or sort of a uh, Bluish look And how about a pink look or a red look? So just play around with the adjustments layer To change the overall effect of your signature So I hope you Learned something in this tutorial, and I hope to see you next time.